Men, do you remember hearing this verse growing up? The kingdom of God lies within. Do you remember hearing that? I do. Doing some heavenly karmatic regression work, I finally realized the kingdom of God lies within. Do you know what is so powerful inside of you that creates life? Your semen. Your semen is God. Your semen is the kingdom of God. That's why you're able to nut and create a baby. So nobody cannot dispute this. You can't just say, no, that's that. No, 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 no. You need a woman's for uh. Look, a woman's uterus can be there for 20 years and a baby would not appear without that semen. And it gotta be potent semen. It gotta be, it, and it gotta be enough. And it gotta be that right semen because in fallopian tubes, as the semen traveled down that, it has to ease the process. That's why when we sit, check out things, if those fallopian tubes go bad in any way, the, the sperm can't travel down. You feel me? Which means that the kingdom of God lies within. You're basically passing through heaven's gate when you go through the fallopian tube. Everything from the men's body to the woman's body basically identifies what's in the Bible. And I'm not even just quoting off the Bible because I'm not even basing my videos just solely on the Bible. My videos is like on multi things. I'm talking Akashic records. I'm talking knowledge that they is not public. It's not released to the public. You feel me? It's it's not in it's not in the uh, circulation of the books that's going around right now. It's it's actually un. It's called what's, what's what are those books when they call? It's out of print. Yeah, it's not in print right now. The books that I'm telling you about the books is really that's gonna teach you about who you are. It's not in print. There's 14 books that's not in the Bible and they're not in print. You literally have to go through a like motherfucking arm and legs just to find these books. And when you find and if you find these books, if you happen to even be aware, or lucky enough to find these books, or a half of a, a book. I have a one book, then you will learn so much more than you have ever reading thousands of these books. I ain't saying I read a thousand. I'm saying I read hundreds. But my point is, you will learn much more because I'm just going off of what I just learned. And you feel me? And it was I, it's what it is. You feel me? But we should have stats. So we should have them do like a poll where, you know, say a group of men, 50 men read a thousand of books that's in print and then. A group of 50 men read, like I say, a half a book that's not in print. That shit will be funny. Yo, we should have a poll to do that. I feel like there's always content. There's always material to make when you're creating. You're creating anything. It just comes from a space that is not in this space. So I'm saying, man, we got to just control our semen. Women, too. Not that y'all got semen, but I'm saying y'all have your own king, king, uh, kingdom of heaven. Y'all have your own like high prized glory. You feel me? Not that ever not give women their acknowledgement because women is the greatest thing but we focusing on men so anyway yo your semen is the kingdom of god you are god with your semen that's why when you keep your elixir you get more potent and powerful you get more like creative you get more like grounded and you put out much more work that is why i get it now do y'all understand what that means and you won't be able to get this unless you hold your semen for like more than, I'll say, seven days. If you can hold your semen for seven days, you if you do not understand this, you will understand this after those seven days. It's just what it is because you're giving too much of your of your kingdom of God. You're giving too much of it, especially when you play with your when you. If you do that, then no offense, bro, that that lowers your vibration even more. But that don't just lower you by like the average. That lowers you by like 10 times that amount because that is releasing your kingdom of God. Like, it's just, you just, you ain't even got no chick with you. You just, just, you feel me? You just, and that to me, like, if I don't have no chick, then I don't even touch it. I don't even mess with it. I mean, I, I clean it every once so I'm just fuck with y'all. But you know what I mean? I don't even, you you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's like, well, I don't feel like it. I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? If you, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, you know what I'm saying? There was a period of time where I was curious. Don't, don't get me wrong, but that's long gone and that's been gone for years i don't you know only because i understand i start to learn about more about how powerful god is and how powerful god is back into your life when you leave your semen you can't be a person of god if you're always depleting yourself because you don't have god in you how can you be a person of god when god is all depleted out of you that makes no sense right god that semen that creates that life that's your godness that is what ties you to the heavenly of god realm because when you're here, you're stuck in this lower density realm. So you're still connected to the higher, higher, higher stuff, right? Right? 
but how are you connected? If you're all depleted and you have nothing but 3D lotion in you, toxins, locked up, pent, ain't working out, ain't raising your vibration through music and frequencies and energy and, you know, ain't uh, speaking highly things into your life, always thoughts is low and poor, and you busting all the time. Shit. And you ain't showering three times a day, taking cold showers with some type of like cleansing solution to cleanse your physical and your aura from all the shit that's out there. And there's so much, there is so much stuff. That's why I don't base my videos on like religion alone. I use a little piece of that because there's a, there is truth in religion. There's a bunch of truth and no, in no way am I discrediting that those religions. Actually, that is what keeps you from the kingdom of God. But I won't be the one to say it, you feel me? That's why they set that shit up. Oh, but every time I say so, it's like people still don't, it's like they're hard headed. I don't know. I don't know why people are so hard headed. It's like that same shit is getting them the same thing they are. When you are against that shit, the devil don't like it. The devil does not like it. And that, so that's why I say, if you're not really aware or you're not like, 100% then don't jump on this side you don't want to be on this side if you are not 100% this side is not for the weak I'm telling you you cannot be weak and be for God yes being for God means you're strong yes it's just what it is being for a higher self meaning you live for a higher divine consciousness it means you don't act out of selfish Meaning that you ain't operating on the low, busting all the time because you know that is the God in you. That is what I'm speaking of. When you hold that in you for 21 days, then come holler at me. Come holler at me when you hold your semen in you for 21 days. I want to hear, I want to see you. And I'll be able to see you too. I'll be able to tell. I'll be able to see in your eyes, your face, your hair. I'll be able to tell if you've been busted. I'll be able to. So you can't even lie. So go do the full 21 days, three weeks, right? You know what I'm saying? Then come holler at me. Show me a picture. Let me know. I bet you I'll be able to talk. I'll be able to tell by how you respond to the messages, by how your toniology is. I'll be able to uh, tone the vocal of your voice, you know, you know, the pitchness of it. Depends on if it's like genuine or it's malicious. People have certain pitches to their voice based off their semen. Their semen makes your voice more deeper and relaxed and more of God. That's why it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll be able to talk and there's just more of like, it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. But I can show y'all research and I'll show y'all multiple and y'all see for yourself. It's like something that's just like natural. You don't even you, you don't even notice because you notice when it wasn't there. So you notice when it's there because you're able to tell the difference. So you feel me? So I'm saying by you retaining your semen for 21 days, you will see what I mean. All right, y'all. So with that being said, yo, I'm saying, yo, like hold your semen in and you'll see. Like you're gonna like change. You won't need any sleep that much. You'll need like probably four hours. Okay. You'll notice that like God speaks to you more and clear up like certain low vibrations. The shit that is like that you had in your brain before, God is clearing that shit out just because you're holding your semen. So you're able to have that. You're it. Oh, I get it now. Think of it like this. Children are protected because they still have their God in them. I know. So think about the difference between you and them. What did you do that they didn't do? There you go. Age has nothing. To, bro, these are these are earth years. Do you understand? Why do you see it every time when a person goes into like the Bermuda or going to like some kind of triangle, going to some other dimension and come back? It's like, quote unquote, 50 earth years. And then they come back younger than when they did. I'm like, you understand why? Because here it's fabricated as time there. It doesn't exist. Yeah. There you go. So what's the difference? What's the only variable that's different? Here, they, fabric they fabricated time. There, they didn't. Or because it doesn't operate on those, those rules. It's the only RAM where it's dense like this. And there's multiple dimensions. There's multiple, like, billions. But my point is, the one thing you hear, the variable that you hear that's true, is that the only difference is that Earth, there is no other place like this place at all. This place is for, like, the toughest people. The people who are like raw, who came here to just change this shit because they understand that unless they change, the frequency won't change. You don't understand. Your semen contain like all your minerals. It is what holds all your basically your wellness that's in your body. Yeah. So you get that shit up every day. It don't matter how many multivitamin gummy motherfucking, you know, Flintstone you pop. It doesn't matter. You can eat all the protein you want to eat. It won't do much at all. It's, it's going to puff you up full of mucus, but it's not going to give you like a growth spurt. You're not going to keep growing like when you were five, seven, 12, 14. Do you know why 
Do you know what led to the growth spurt stunt? Why you stopped just growing like that? Do you know why? Was it because you started lifting weights in high school? It wasn't because you started sitting down. It wasn't because you were um, eating like, you know, processed foods from the grocery store. It wasn't none of that. It was because you started busting. You started ejaculating. You started fapping. You started watching porn. And then you started releasing. And then you started releasing more and more and more. And then you discovered women. I mean, you knew women, but then you discovered what their part was for. I know. You start to think like, wait a minute. They got a hole. I have a... Oh, sh so that's how it works. I figured it out. I could finally play chess. You feel me? You understood life. And now... That's when you start to get curious, you start to go out there. You start to, you know, <clears throat> touch the field a little bit. You start to get a little damp and wet. You feel me? And now look at you. You have to retain your semen, which is how you add back to that connection with source, a.k.a. God, a.k.a. divine consciousness. Huh? You know, build that connection back. And then, then you shall see all the gains and growth spurts and I know hair grow back and other things too just change in your whole life I guarantee if you want to grow thicker or if you, you want to be taller or if you want to I'm telling you it's all because you're seeing it. you don't believe me research it research it just just research it and the fact that you don't know is because you haven't retained your semen but for people who look up study people who've been on one year semen one year semen retention, two years, three years, they always look different from like the first or the second and the third. They look more vibrant. They look more full. Their hair looks more filled. They look more replenished. And I'm guessing they didn't change their diet much. It was all about their semen. It was all about that semen. I believe pretty much you can eat whatever you want as long as you retain your semen because your semen is what heals you. To real talk. The reason why you stop healing fast like you normally do, nails, brittery, you know what I'm saying? What do you think happened? Your semen, bro. Your semen. It's all about your semen. It's all about that semen. I'm telling you. I know, right? I'm, I'm sounding weird, but I'm telling y'all. It's all about retaining that God. That's it. That's your potent nutrients. That's why they had to pervert everything. That's why they had to make everything so sexualized. That's why they had to get you at even younger ages. Come on, bro. They think that you're trying to attack the preschool kids. They're like, uh, they're all talking about it now. They be, they, uh, they be in sexual ed classes and all that, sexual courses and shit. I'm like, but that nigga is five years old. I'm like, but fuck. I gotta go home to my wife. I'm like, he's six years old. He's supposed to be uh, pooping on himself and peeing in the bed. What you doing? He, he can't be having no, like, that, that's even weird. Who does that? What? But uh, y'all can do that, but y'all can't teach us how to balance a checkbook. Y'all can't teach us how to make three, four income. Y'all can't teach us how to open up life insurance, start an LLC, but y'all can teach us about rated R shit, huh? That's how I knew it was all garbage. I knew. Y'all can't tell me it's not garbage. If you look at me and tell me garbage, then immediately I know that person's garbage. I know. They basically just told them themselves. Now, and, I, and we come to another thing. Your semen teaching is going to build up your will. So you'll be having a bigger, bigger force field when you're in, like, like when you're coming across different people. So therefore, like people try to put some shit in your head by projecting because people only project. People project their own insecurities onto other people. You know why? Because they don't want to let they, they don't want you to live happy. They don't want you to be. They don't want you to have something that they don't have. They don't want you to um, live in bliss while they're over there miserable. That's why they say, hey, be safe. <laughs> I say, I'm sorry, thanks, but you be safe. You feel me? If a person tells you to be safe, you return that shit ASAP. Never take a person safe. They're putting fear and that shit into your reality. Well, they're trying to. They're trying to project because they have that in theirs. That means they're a fearful, scared person. So they're telling on themselves. And you only know that by retaining your semen. Or the best way to retain or to absorb this information is to retain your uh, semen. Because you won't even be interested in this knowledge if you busting. You could you could hear good good knowledge that ain't nobody gonna fucking tell you. Ain't nobody gonna tell you no knowledge that's gonna benefit you. You think anybody wants you to be in a better space than you are today? I don't, I don't know, man. I haven't met much people. I met one or two, but I haven't met many people. Anybody. Think of it like this. Your average person out there can show love to a fundraiser, donate $5 just to make their content or the person that's giving them knowledge better, right? So so, so, so that way they could be in a better space to give them more knowledge better. They do that to the churches, but do you see them out there really doing that? No, but who's out there giving them knowledge? 
wanting them to rise up in frequency. That way they can absorb the true greatness in this reality and not be stuck to level one for their entire lives because they, they were told that level one is all that there is. You know how they are susceptible to fall for that? Busting. That's how they turn into betas and lower testosterone. So if you, I know it sounds hard. It sounds crucial. It sounds like a life altering thing, but you got to find other ways around it. I mean, you got to start getting creative. I know. That's all that means. You got to get creative with the shit. You can't be stuck in the old way. I could bust every night and bust every day and bust every Sunday. Hey, hey, hey. No, you can't do that. You got to stop singing songs and musicals and busting nuts all the time. You got to let that shit go. I'm saying, bro. All right. Enough is enough. I'm telling you, I went through that phase. College? Oh, damn, man. I was busting too many nuts. But now that I think about it, the girl I was, she had three dudes. Now that I know. I didn't know back then, but now that I know, she had three dudes. I was just one of them. I don't think she counted me as one of her dudes. My point was, she was busting way more than me. And I busted like that. She was having like 25, 26 orgasms with me. I know. When you don't bust nuts, that's where you get back to. You don't get back. Once you get back to, you know, not busting nuts more than you bust nuts. So you got to balance it out, right? You get back to giving your girl, giving a girl you messing with 30 orgasms. I'll be so tired. If I had food or pre-workout, man, I would have went double. I ain't had, she ain't feed me shit. She ain't give me no, I was like, can I have something to drink? She's like, Fuck. she looking at me like, I was like, can I have something to drink or something? Man? I'm burnt out. Like, I was like, I didn't understand why I was so hungry. If I knew that it it takes all the minerals out of you, that it drains you of your source elixir, if it, you got to put that minerals back in you, I would have brought my own food. I would have brought my own lunches and dinner. I didn't know. I was chill. I used to class with all during the day. In the middle of the night, I go chill with her. Driver, pick up your money, food, whatever, like that. You know what I'm saying? Simp shit, right? I was a simp, then a motherfucker. I know. So, all that, you feel me? So, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Giving her so many, because I know, uh, you know how I know we had so many, or right? Because basically, we had this little game, right? At the end of it, she'll tell me how many times I make her, and I would just keep going until I make her go over like 12 or 15 or 30 or, or 25. I'm telling you, there was, I had higher numbers, but I'm not going to tell y'all because y'all going to think I'm lying, so ain't no point in me tell, uh, telling y'all. I don't really care. But yeah, I let's just say it was a game that we played for a while. Yeah, six months. Yes, three to six months. Yes, a while, six months. Yeah. So my point was that we were very. I was well. I, I was very well versed in the game, if that makes sense. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there. I ain't gonna say say no more. So, all right. So, and when you bust them nuts, I was giving her powerful potent elixir and minerals and all this other shit. No, and she had other dudes busting in there too. Man, I didn't even know that. You know how insulted, man. That shit nasty, nasty. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, no. I was mixing and dipping in the fruit salad bowl. It was everybody in there. They were just putting their hands in there. We just, and we were licking our fingers and putting it back in there. You know how long we mixed in the fruit salad bowl for? So long. So long. Ah, I'm just saying, uh, uh. I used to go to the health department and get checked out like every week. I, you know, I ain't gonna, I never had anything, a urinal infection or like a little bitty yeast or something like that from her, but I learned to, um, wear a condom actually. Okay. And I would start getting these girls checked out like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Literally, they started to leave me a lot because I would say, Hey, go get checked out. 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 Cause I never trust them. Never, never. Condom, yeah, still never trust them. I don't care. I want to know that what I'm putting my thing inside is not defective. Simple. I don't care about anything else. That's it. I was that motherfucking crazy addict. That's why I was like, you know what? Semen retention is better for me because I got tired of being paranoid, worrying about that. I got tired of going and getting checked. All, all the doctors knew me. It was like, you're fine. You're fine, Chris. Well, they call me Chris, but KT, you're fine. They, man, they'll be mad at me to the motherfucker. They'll be mad. All the doctors be. And I, I didn't know, know why. I didn't know nearly as much as I know now. So I just be like, yeah, uh -huh. I was even more in that baby stage. But I realized I was a, I was a baby. But to them, I was a simp ass, pussy ass, whatever ass. I don't know. So, but now I realize. To just, uh, you know, I know myself and I know what it is. So if I do go, I'm like, hey, yo, check this, check this, check this. And I don't ask no questions. I don't expect none. I just, oh, I ask those questions. I don't ask none extra. And then I just expect, you know, that's it. Because it's different now. You I had to realize what it is with, I was being too, like, childlike around individuals that were not in the best or were not in that teaching phase. They didn't, they were not trying to enlighten me. You feel me? They, they're actually more inclined for you to have something. That way, yeah, that way they make money off treating you. I know I didn't know that. I had no idea at all. So I'm like, what? So that's why I just realized it's better to retain your semen. 
And now with these abortion laws that's trying to pop up and shit like that, it's definitely better to retain your semen because when you retain your semen, you get like more like you just get more powerful and you don't got to worry about having a baby. Don't got to worry about having a baby at all. Because if you if chances are, if they keep popping up in like eight, nine, ten states, they're going to um, try to pop up in the state where you're at. And then, you know, you like, oh, you can't have an abortion. And then they'll, you know, you try to go to other places and, you know, what I'm saying like, come on, like they know what's up. So like, well, they know eventually they they know that if they ban it in that state, immediately you're going to think about going to other states. That's the basic response from majority of people who have some sort of sense of mind. Not that they're many. But you feel me? So by just retaining your semen, you don't have to deal with that at all. Until you find that wifey, that one that you and mine busting out a few babies in. You you know. You instinctively know. But if you but girls, there's so many um sucky pisses where they may look good, but they don't really look like that. So you just better watch out. I'm telling you. They put that in a lot of movies. Ash versus evil, Stan versus Ash versus evil, Stan versus uh Stan against evil. And Ash versus uh, yeah, Ash versus Evil. I'm telling you, check those two movies out. You're gonna, I mean, two shows out on Netflix. They actually stopped them on the third season, which really sucks. Because I'm like, why did you stop the two good shows? You're gonna like them too. Watch these two shows: Stand Against Evil and Ash versus Evil. You're gonna like them, like for real. All right, it's gonna teach you about a lot about women. It's gonna teach you about well majority of women are amazing but there's a piece of a women well the devil realized that it can utilize the women to get to the men right if they can get to the men then they can conquer the civilization quicker because if you conquer its men you conquer the civilization duh why you think come on man you think this shit is a game you think this is a joke it's a game but it's not a joke it's real it's a real game joke you feel me? So your semen is more powerful. Your semen keeps you alpha, sigma, omega. Your semen will... That's why I said, yo, I got so many variables that go with keeping your semen. You know how many people I had to try to convince me to get, to, uh, to get rid of my semen? Martial art teachers, too. Martial art teachers that me and my brother would hire... Well, that he would hire, right? I'll hire some, too. I ain't gonna lie. But his martial art teachers would try to tell me to burn my semen. Just... Ah, what do you, and they'll tell me that it's not good if I keep it. They'll say, you get blue balls. So you telling me that I didn't get blue balls all this time to I, until I started busting nuts, and now if I don't stop, now if I stop busting nuts, I get blue balls? <laughs> oh, is it? Are you are you are you serious with me? Are you telling me this shit? Are you trying to tell me that you really 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 believe that? Yo, I'm like, really? You actually believe that? Oh, okay. And then I start to tell me a lot about them. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, oh yeah, no, no, no. Well, I'm gonna go get on that right now. Then I want to get them blue balls. I'll be right back to train to train with you, teach. I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna be really energized, and I won't get blue balls and get like, err. I come back. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't come back. But you know what I'm saying? Expect me to come back all legs fell out. <laughs> I'm ready to teach. My my nails falling off and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, my light just shut off. I don't know. It was weird, but you know, come back all like, like what kind of shit is that? Yes. If you keep busting nuts long enough, it makes your it, it pulls the uh it pulls the collagen from your tendons and your bones. It pulls it from it. Didn't know that, did you? Yeah, I know. Basically, if you release too much semen, it will pull all the nutrients and moisture and elixir from your bones, from your tendons, from your face, from your brain, from your eyes, from your everything, and it will just you look like a, a a sponge that's been squeezed out and it's been used for weeks and weeks and weeks and then now you haven't used it in a couple of days and now there's no moisture and it. it's just like it looks like that little loofah that's on your on your mom's kitchen sink and it's just like there's nothing left and it's just, well there's something left but you don't want to put no more water in it because you're scared it just fall apart so you just like nah I'm gonna just like that rest in peace and you don't think about it no more that's a true funeral you just you let it go. You don't think about it no more. People's like, I'm going to hold your name forever. No, nah, motherfucker, you're supposed to let that nigga go. <laughs> ah, but you feel me? So it's like that piece. That's what happens when you burn too much semen. I actually, I shouldn't probably tell people that. I should let people just release themselves. That way I could be the strongest and conquer the world. I know, right? Yeah. Cha-ching. No, actually, um, release your semen. It's really good for you. And uh, if you won't. And you'll get blue balls if you don't. Okay? That's it. Nah, y'all have a good one, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. Yeah, I'm about to wrap this video. I'm about to go get my swole on, get my train on. You know what I'm saying? Always. Training actually increases your semen too. So working out increases your testosterone, increases your semen, increases all that. So if you if you want to increase all of that, the elixir, so work out. You feel me? Work out your legs. Working out your legs will increase your semen. 
All right, let me clarify that. Training your legs will increase your semen. I don't know about any other part. I don't think training your abs will increase your semen. I'm just being, I haven't found no, I haven't found a substantial amount of evidence that, that, that will like, will, will uh, lead me to believe that that is true. I haven't found to co co uh, convince me. Man, my word, ever since this whole shift going on. So now I just focus on legs like every day. I don't train any other part. I don't train my arms. I do not work my arms. I, I like, if my arms, if I'm training my legs, I'll add my arms. But I do not focus solely on my arms. It's like I like mute too. Think of it like that. He was swat, solid, uh, solid ass leg. Who cares about arms? You know what I'm saying? I'm using my legs. I ain't. My arms is the block. This is the guard. My legs is my punches and my kicks and everything. I'm trying to get two more legs, y'all. Yo, I'm about to change. I'm about to morph into something else. People are like, what are you talking about? And, oh, uh, uh, the Bible never said none of that. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> I'd be like, I don't even get I just laugh. I just be laughing my ass off, bro. It's like, what do you mean? And da, 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 da. Uh, they, 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 bro, they be freaking out. It'd be so hilarious. <laughs> I don't even just, I don't even explain, bro. Because if I did tell them, they would not get it. They don't want to get it. You got to understand. People, certain people do not want to understand this stuff. They're not meant to. I used to teach this shit for free forever like i still i will give you information but i do expect you guys to reciprocate with donations do you know why because information should be prized should be prized if you don't prize information then i don't think you value yourself and if you are not a high prized individual then i don't think girls will really want you girls want a high prized individual even cameo samuel said that girls want you you even saw that and what does it take to get that? And you have to spend some money. You have to spend some ducats to get that to level up co consecutively. Or you just got to spend a decade more teaching yourself and learning and giving up on friends and hanging out and everything else and just dedicate 24 seven to leveling up. I'm talking, you got to do cold showers, ice cold bath, uh, sometimes when you don't sleep, sometimes when you only sleep two hours, three hours. I'm talking about you work out four hours a day. Working out is the best way to clear your mental. So when you're coming up, when you, and then you have to fake it before you make it because you have to imagine it because you have to jump it from other realities into this one. So you're shifting yourself from a different reality into this one. Yes. Cause you're already technically lived that life that you believe you live. If you can believe you that, that you have something, then you already have it. It's simple. It's been proven by scientists. Check the FBI CIA database. It's there because they want Cause, 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 cause when people go searching for it, they want to be able to say, oh yeah, we have the information right here, but they're not going to tell you about the information and it's going to distract you from the information, but it's still going to be there. Cause it's like, you weren't sharing with us. It's like, well, actually we have it here and such and such. Just like they put the, like the claim on the back of the label, like, oh, this causes cancer and da, 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 da. But it's like on the back and most people don't even look at that. Or most people don't even care. Most people don't read that shit at all. So, you know what I'm saying? Just so they could, you, you know, validate their claim, justify themselves. You feel me? So I'm saying it's the same thing as that. Like niggas won't. So you should always show love. Just like if you had a really good waitress, you should show love because she didn't have to be cool. You didn't have to experience that good energy because a lot of people are shitty. A lot of people don't don't give a fuck. Like give you trash ass. Like, like wouldn't you rather good service versus bad? So when they're when they're cool, I always reciprocate when they're cool energy because they don't have to be cool. Why would you want to have why would you want to spend money and have like a, a, a awkward experience? I know, right? It sucks, doesn't it? So, retaining your semen is the new lick. I'm telling you, girls gonna love you. Girls gonna fall for you. Girls gonna, you're gonna get sucky pissed, but watch out. Just make sure you read, read, uh, like read their eyes. Read their eyes in their body language before you mess around. But when you do find like a good pure chick that has God in her, ooh, I know, you're gonna be cool. I'm telling you, you're gonna be real cool. Do you know why? Because she also has God in her. That's why when two people of God create more. That's why it's men and women. It's not women without men or men without women. It's men and women come together. Create the kingdom of God. You Because you both have the kingdom of God within you. Duh. Yin yang. Womb. Uh, phallus. That's why it's the unk. Y'all y'all like, oh man, women, we God. Uh, we bad. We don't need no man. No, you're not God without the man. And men, you're not God without the women. I mean, yes, you have God in you, but you become more God, a unity of God, God's kingdom when you're together. You're, you're trying to have something without the other because the ego wants to validate himself without the other. It doesn't want to need. And you technically do require. I understand it makes you feel in a victimless state or a weak state when you when you when you need something and you don't want to admit it. But technically you do need. But. Because it's like a better, it's like a fuller, it's like a tri trifecta. It's the creation. It's the yin and the yang. It's three, six, nine versus just, you know, nine. 
I, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, you now you do have kingdom of God within you. That's why you have a womb. But you need the potent elixir to create that life. People are all, girls is like in the new age. Oh, I could just put my poom poom in the sun and the baby just come inside of me. Ah! Then why did they do that in the 40s or the 30s or the 60s or the 80s or the 70s? Why didn't they do that any of them years? Come on. Why are they not over? Man, just whatever. I'm I'm done speaking about that. But yeah, I don't think it works like that. I'm sure it's going to clean it up a little bit and get that yeast out the way. Bacteria be gone. But I don't think you'll grow a whole fetus in there from the sun unless you obtain a superpower that allows you to do that. You know, I don't really understand. I, but other than that, I don't see it just happening. Like I haven't found, again, I haven't found evidence that will validate that claim. I'm just saying. So, so if you, so I'm, I'm just saying, I can't be the one to explain that to you. It, you ain't going to get any information from me with that until I go and focus on that. And I don't really feel inclined to really go and research if women are able to have a baby with the son and don't need a man. Like that don't really benefit me. So I don't really feel like I will waste time doing that. But I will go and learn about more about, you know, shift and body and stuff to help us help the community thrive and rise together. Because I feel like we all require uh, we all require each other to uplift and keep us when just keep us like, you know, rising up and interested in stuff like that. Imagine like it, it's just what it is. Keep us looking forward to life, like keep us non bored. Keep us, you know, like, come on, man. Like you remember when you went to elementary school, you was have fun. It was interesting. It was really exciting waking up every day to go to school. It was like it was really just it was like so excited, especially when you got like a new set of clothes and you got to go like show them off. It was so fun, right? It was fun. And now when you're like, you know, it's not really fun no more to go to the, to really come around a lot of people because what happened? That God wasted from people. Now, this is just a lot of devils. That's why it's not so fun. I won't say too much truth. I'll leave it like that. But that's why I said, put that guy back in you. Watch how much fun it is. Watch. All right, yo, so I'm going to really wrap up this video this time. I'm going to make it no more longer, all right? Thanks for watching this, yo. I'm KT. Show some love, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, yo, I'm going to come back with some new bangers, yo. I'm out.